Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Iron! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
caught that kick there. Oh, collar tie. Just unable to quite find that reach. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That's it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Hey, he's off balance. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, single collar tie now. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big body kick land. Oh, jab splits the guard beautifully there. Misses with the right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, head kick lands. Lands the right hand. Big knee lands. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Splits the guard land the right hand. Nice loop and punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. I can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Right up the elbow. There's that side kick. Got the single collar tie. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Nice. Nice. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round.
Misses with that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. There's no give on that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Single collar tie now. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Big kick land. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over three minutes to go now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Good punch, Lance. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? They continue to exchange. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not been hurt from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, big punch land. Powerful leg kick land. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Spinning back fist. Great punch. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, oh. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good 
at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a punch. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, perfect head kick there. Superman punch. That strike blocked by Lee. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Massive head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch, Lee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Man! Oh! Lose hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Liver kick. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked. Nice strike. Beautiful combination there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Head kick lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. You need the take down now. Punch him in the back. Attempts the front kick there. Nice punch here. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Let's move that head now. Plus right hand is true. Look at him drive his hip into his own body with that body kick. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. That shot is blocked by Lee. Liver kick, you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Right. Oh, he goes with the punch and it lands. What a fantastic strike 
to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Ooh, big shot land. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Put your hands up higher. Come on. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Now a knee to the body. Oh, collar tie. Nice. Right hook to the head block. Visibly limping here. How about that shin? Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Straight punch lands. Big body kick. Try to establish that jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, nice. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big strikes. Oh, big knee! No! Look at that. It's over. It's over. Oh, my yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 4. We're playing the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.